I'm going to give a reflective retrospect about my time with Dragonflight. Now we're into the lead up with early access for War Within dropping here in the next five hours or so. We got 78 days played at level 70, kind of give you an idea as to how much time that I put into it. As far as my overall goals uh, were concerned, as far as Mythic Plus is, my overall goal wasn't to do any kind of key pushing. It's just to get KSM, fill the vault, earn aspect crests, and then that's it. I would probably definitely rate my overall experience in all four seasons in Mythic Plus substantially better than Shadowlands. Don't get me wrong, Shadowlands is a really, really low bar, but that's what we were coming out of. So my experience with Mythic Plus is as a whole throughout this ex this expansion was significantly better. With that being said, I am super bored of the FX system. And even though they're constantly changing it, revamping it, removing some, adding some, honestly, I just want the whole system ditched and something new to take its place because the FX system, I'm just bored as shit of it. And it's just more annoying than it is fun and engaging. So. But that's a different rant for a different time. Uh, but overall, the the pool system for Mythic Pluses, I think, is is way better than what they had in Shadowlands, where you're just hitting the same ones like the the entire time, like the same eight for two years. Like um, the way in which that they integrate the new ones while still keeping the old content relevant, bringing in. Uh, old dungeons from past tier from past expansions super super good way of ensuring that those old dungeons are still relevant outside of the time walking system so i'm really happy with that i just wish they would just ditch the affix system and just replace it with something better it's just boring to me anyways uh raid my goal was to get cutting edge on all of the tiers uh two out of three we're really really close with razagath um, we started progressing on her got about 10 12 pulls on her but we were running into roster issues couldn't maintain the roster that was proficient enough to kill her but that was a good sign that we were on the right track and that we were able to develop a team to get cutting edge which we did for the next two tiers so we were able to get sarkareth down in fact we were actually able to kill him twice we went back and re-cleared and killed him a second time and then we turned around and got cutting edge and killed Farak as well. And to give you context as well, our raiding schedule, we only raid six hours a week, which means two nights a week at three hours a pop. So with that kind of a raid schedule, it is super, <laughs> very, very, very difficult to turn around and re-clear. A lot of the times when you're under that kind of time uh, constraint when it comes to mythic progression, it's normally just a one and done kind of deal. Uh, so the fact that we're able to turn around and do a full reclear is like, was really, really gratifying, but that's not to say that we weren't able to turn around and kill these guys a second time. Like a lot of these guys, we, of course you have to fill the vault, right? So you have to turn around and kill like the first five or six or whatever, multiple times, but killing the last like two bosses is always like the hardest thing to do on a six hour, a night uh six hour a week raid schedule the overall satisfaction between getting cutting edge on these two tiers i would probably sit like hands down i'd say sark wrath was like the better one like it was the more satisfying more gratifying one however sark wrath was the more was the most visually annoying boss second most visually annoying boss smolderon takes that takes that crown because blizzard has this nasty habit about integrating the color scheme of their environment to be the exact same as the abilities fire looking room fire floor all fire abilities that shit annoys me and that was the problem with sarkareth purple and blue abilities purple and blue floor If I had to put these guys in a tier, I'd dump these all on B. Because I, I I, think these guys, if I were to put them all in a rating system, they're all about equal. Certain ones were more satisfying than others. 
and like any other raid there are certain bosses that make the raid as a whole a lot of fun and then there's ones that you come across that are just straight up nightmare fuel total pain in the ass this bitch comes to mind hated this fight Dathia sucked quick side story about Smolderon kill him for the first time and I'll never forget this every time I see this model I'll, ne I'll always be reminded of this and I'm sure mo a lot of raiders can relate to this kill him for the first time on mythic he drops the signet brand which is best in slot for like over a quarter of our raid gets loot counseled or the one monk gets it he turns around less than a week later g quits joins a guild that was progressing on farak and he completely <laughs> jumped tindril we had a lot of pissed off raiders that night yes i was one of them but anyways tindril crazy fight that was he is by far the most unique and probably the most satisfying kill by far the hardest boss by a mile and that's part of what made it the killing him so satisfying as well we started progressing on him the reset after they nerfed his soak root ability before it was if you accidentally soaked a second root it exploded and killed everyone and then they turned around and changed that where you if you hit a second one nothing happened thank god they changed that because if they didn't we would have been stuck we would not have killed him full stop our guild would not have killed him with that mechanic in play straight up so they changed it we were able to kill it thank god Farak, cool fight as far as like end bosses go yeah he's better than jailer Uh, open world stuff. Uh, the world quest system. Here's the thing is I have been, I've been in the world quest system in one way or another since Le since its inception, since Legion. In fact, I think I had over almost 18,000 world quests completed in Legion alone. world quest system surprisingly i'm actually not bored of it the one thing that i do get really annoyed of though are the ones that obviously take way longer than they should like three or four minutes i miss the ones in legion where you could literally walk in pull an entire like pull a big huge pack and fucking nuke them and be done with the world quest literally one tap and just walk in gather boom I'm not saying all world quests should be like that, but in Legion, there was like four or five of them. Like if you could have like four or five of these accomplish that, that would be awesome. All of these take a little bit of time and effort. Now, a couple of things I will highlight. These climbing ones are stupid. Absolutely. I'm not going to get into what, what I like and what I hate about it. I just think these climbing ones are dumb. That one just is be erased. Same when it comes to like the catalog raft one. Get rid of it. It's boring as hell. Not interesting. Like a lot of these, you just can't walk in and just insta nuke. Like all of these ones that I'm looking at, the only exception, of course, like these are your world bosses. Oh, actually, let me quickly speak on the world bosses because yeah, see all of these take over two minutes a pop. I know it sounds medial, but like, look how many there are. And if you have like, if you were to like multiply this by like anywhere between two to seven minutes a hit, that's a lot of time. Just doing world quests. So for Dragonflight, this is the world. These are the world bosses that we ended up with. Overall, I liked them. All of them I liked. I know they're all like just 
tank and spank you just like walk in hit and they're just target dummies but overall my experience engaging with world bosses was way better this time around than it was in the past like i enjoyed actually walking in and killing these guys weekly and i like the models of them too they were all really neat and i like and i enjoyed engaging with all of them so top notch to that and i hope that going into war within that these four are going to be just as fun they look really cool so i'm actually um i'm excited about that yeah so the best feature the best features that i would say that i enjoyed that i'm glad that they implemented in dragonflight talent system i'm so I'm so happy they brought in a talent system because what we had in shadowlands as far as what you picked for talents when i was just was so boring it was so crap and probably hands down my favorite feature straight up is dragon flying like this is by far the thing that kept me on in the dragon isles the, the most when i had like essentially nothing to do because i don't play alts right so if i'm not doing any kind of world quest or anything like that like i have spent countless hours like just dicking around with dragon riding and the fact that you have the ability to like get from place to place so much faster and in such and in unique ways to me is like kind of what made made this expansion for me in my opinion like it's just been so fun like engaging with like hell even like doing world a world quest like this like even though i don't have to like it's just one of those things where it just helps kind of sharpen up your skills and able to make you get get from place to place And what's kind of in what I enjoy about this particular feature as well is when you're getting into mineral gathering, like mining and stuff like that. How many times have you come across a node that's already been tapped and it just disappears because you're dealing either with bots or people that a are just around the zone is and are queen. able to get Remove are able to get to one node order. to another faster than you just because they happen to be a druid well dragon riding acts as essentially the the tiebreaker in my opinion because i guarantee you i'm able to get from node to node faster than a bot can even though like i'm just like be i'm just way more reactionary and like because i'm able to like jump from this one to another one so quick oh the other game changer as well that i enjoyed with it is that you can mine yeah so like boom like the fact that you're able to mine while mounted is awesome that's so good i love that The crafting system, the revamp of the crafting system, I thought was really well done. And it's one that I definitely engaged in. However, the work order system is one that I understand and I, I understand what they were going for with it. But overall, it was only one, is only a system that I interacted I with, that needs with guildies and essentially doing bare minimum and not really a means to like earn gold or anything like that. However, I do see the, the potential if you put the time and effort into, into um, work orders exclusively, that you can earn a boatload of gold. But the thing is, you have to be very, very pragmatic about where you dunk your time because getting proficient in work order, man, in the work order management system and earning gold that way is a time sink in and of itself that i found but overall the crafting system 
the crafting system that they implemented is really is in my opinion way better and like a good fresh coat of paint to what we had before with the utilization of the equipment coupled with like the complete ui overhaul and the fact that you now have like ranking system as well which is like a thing in and of itself and a topic of itself where you have different uh quality levels i thought that was like in my opinion i think that was a good change i think that was a very 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 good change and especially from an economic perspective was a very very positive one as well because it gave even more avenues of gameplay for people that want to experiment with it, with with wow as a whole but anyways uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. That's pretty much all I had as far as what my overall re reflective retrospect is of Dragonflight. So here's hoping that War Within is equal, if not better, because I'm going to have a hell of a good time with it. See you there.